Hello, good morning. Uh, I'm Dr. Sandeep Sugadhan, University Kuala Lumpur. Today, I'm going to discuss on uh, how to do chi-square test using SPSL. All of you know, uh, chi-square test can be used to know the association between two categorical variables. In this data, uh, the age category is a categorical variable and you know uh, systolic blood pressure category that is also a categorical variable type of diabetes mellitus is a categorical variable gender is another categorical variable if you want to know the association between two categorical variables I will give an example age category and type of diabetes mellitus I want to know which age category, which type of diabetes mellitus is more or I want to know the association between gender and the type of diabetes mellitus among males, which type of diabetes mellitus is more among females, which type of diabetes mellitus is more in such situation we can use chi-square ok I will show you these steps first go to analyze and go to descriptive statistics and go to cross tabs what is that you know cross tabs means cross tabulation it is cross tabulating between two categorical variables into one table in our previous session on uh, categorical data descriptive statistics of categorical data we have discussed on cross tabulation and how it is used without selecting statistics we can make cross tabulation here also we are using cross tabs and you have to select dependent category and independent category which is dependent category I want to know systolic blood pressure category that is a dependent category independent variable I am taking gender okay and then I am clicking uh, statistics ok and which statistics I will select chi-square because both are categorical variable chi-square is our choice of test then click continue then cells I want to know the percentage in each cells then I have to click cells and you select uh, you can select percentages, row percentage, column percentage, total percentage. Each cell, what is the uh, percentage in term of row total, in term of column total, and in term of grand total. It will calculate. Then click continue. If you want, you can select the expected counts also, but not required in all cases. Continue then you can select exact exact means what uh, I will tell you if you are checking chi-square alone uh, SPSS will calculate asymptotic significance value asymptotic significance value means it is not exact significance value it is a approximate an approximate significance value you can select exact exact means what uh, in if in any case some of the cells are having expected count less than 5 then we cannot take we, we cannot use usual uh, chi-square test then we require Fisher's exact test that that will calculate exact p-value or exact significance value it is better to check exact why you know we don't know after analyze only we will an, uh, we will understand that some cells are having very low values to avoid that you can click exact computer will calculate Fisher's exact test also then uh, it is time limit per test 5 minutes because uh, they are giving like that to show uh, next 5 minutes computer uh, SPSS software will be selecting exact test after 5 minutes it will go back to asymptotic only continue ok we selected exact we selected statistics chi-square 
we selected uh, cells okay percentages then continue and you can select display clustered bar charts also then computer will uh, uh, draw the bar charts then click ok the result appear in uh, output view this is uh, uh, association between gender and the systolic blood pressure category gender 1 that is males uh, how much 38.9 percent are hypertensive in gender 2 females 45.5 percent are hypertensive okay we are checking Pearson chi-square value it will show the Pearson chi-square value and significance value it will show a symptotic significance value and exact significance value you can select if any of the cell is having less than 5 in this case all the cells are having less uh, more than 5 ex uh, expected count so no need to look for exact significance value you can look for asymptotic significance value and it is more than 0 0.05 if it is more than 0 0.05 means p value or significance value is more than 0 0.05 means it is not significant that means association between gender and systolic blood pressure category is not significant in other term when you are writing a report you can say occurrence of hypertension among male and among females were not significantly different okay you understood uh, see you in next video Thank you.